it's running 13,000 RPM. So to me, it is a paintbrush. It's just got a motor stuck to the end of it. It's chainsaw art. I uh, create out of raw material, raw logs, found logs, people's trees, create art, you know, with a chainsaw. It's loud, it's fast, it's uh, pretty interesting. I've ran it long enough, I'm not worried about something happening. Other than, oops, you know, it cuts in a little far. Or you have an oops with a chainsaw, it's normally a big oops. But I'm looking at seeing how the grain's running, whether there's knots, there's a whole lot of things you have to incorporate into your process. I can sway the tip, I can do furs, I can do several different textures of furs, sweeps and you know plunge cuts and feathers the same. I can put the veins on the feather, you know, with the saw just by the way it rotates. And my first carbon took me like a wheat, a big, you know, a bigger carbon. And this guy bought it. And as he's going to trucks, I mean, I can't wait to get this pig home. And I was thinking to myself, sticking money in my pocket, that's a bear. <laughs> you know, he bought it, swore, he, he thought it was the best looking pig. But now they're a lot better. When I started, it was a full size logging saw, you know, 20 inch bar, big tip kicking. And, and I mean, it would kick back bad. You had to worry about it, you know, getting injured. The newer bars, when I got learning, they make them the size of a dime with quarter pitch chains. So it's the size of a dime, it barely kicks. You can do detail. I don't want it to be forced. I want it to just flow. And it takes a while to learn that, but once you do, it's uh, crazy what can come off of that saw. This is the remains of uh, the senator from the Big Tree Park after it was burnt, caught fire and fell down, and we recovered it, brought it here to create pieces of art out of it. I was a kid in school, and we'd go field trips to, the, to see the senator. My mom would take us there to see the senator. It's 3,500 years old, there's not another one. So getting to work on it's pretty important. This piece of the senator is over 10 feet tall. It's gonna have two giant uh, horned owls. It'd be pretty neat. I went to Oviedo High School, and you know, art training I had was at high school. But I always drew and, and I couldn't get that 3D look. So, you know, that it, it just wasn't exciting. And, and chainsaw was exciting. And with a chainsaw moving that fast, that close to you, and there's situations where you're right there where you shouldn't be, but you have to be. With a saw running right by your, your face, it's a, uh, I mean, I've got a few battle scars from the chainsaw. With me, I, I, I got to see it in the wood. All my buddies say they don't see nothing but a piece of wood, but I, I see something that's the log shaped a certain way or something that it gives me a starting point. But there's some pieces like this heron right here, I'm tickled with it. If you get up close and look at it, you can see the lily looking floral work in it, the cattails, the dragonfly, and it's all not too detailed. You know, it's, it kind of fits the tree. I finally shut my logging company down and just went doing the art, but then it became a job. But even though it became a job, I've got to do it. You know, I used to run air boats and hog hunt, all this crazy, you know, all this other stuff, and now it seems like I just want to create. I love what I do.